Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Last year, I took this, it's an 11 and a half inch AR-15 pistol, and I rattle canned it, spray painted it. I don't know if you could tell, I used black and I used dark green, and I kind of got a bit of, uh, you know, some kind of design on it a little bit, but I feel like I just wasn't bold enough. And from a distance, it still just looks like a black AR-15. So, it's springtime, the sun is shining, we're gonna repaint that thing today. I'm gonna go through this step by step, so make sure you're subscribed. So if you're looking to paint your very own rifle, or pistol, there are a few things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the firearm itself, obviously. You're gonna need painter's masking tape. The blue kind works great. Also, spray paint. I've got the, these are all Rust-Oleum camouflage. These work great, matte finish, and they are colors that are found in nature. Now, I'm not gonna use all five of these colors, I don't think, we'll see. But I'm gonna try to make it, I live in an area that's like desert to the south of me and forest and mountains to the north. So some greens, some tans, a little black in there. I think it'll turn out great. And you also want something to use as a stencil of some kind if you want some kind of pattern on it. Now when I did that last year, I had this like metal sheeting. Like I said, you can still kind of see it right there. But the pattern is kind of worn off a bit. You can see it on the mag a little bit. So this year I got an actual stencil. I ordered this off Amazon. It's like uh, kind of camo shapes, but hexagons. Actually, they're, they're only five-sided, so they're not hexagons. Pentagons. And uh, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do, if there's anything on your gun that you don't want painted, take it off, whatever accessory it is. Like I'm going to take the pistol grip off because I just don't want paint or I'm grabbing it all the time. Um, I'll probably take a few other things off. Haven't decided if I'm going to paint the optics yet or not. I might. I might not. You're going to want to tape off the trigger. You're going to want to tape off a few things. I like to leave a mag in the gun. That way you don't get any paint up inside it. Also keep your ejection port closed. And uh, I'm going to take the Radian Rafter charging handle out of it. Just put an old school mil, uh, mil spec charging handle in to plug that hole and get started. So here we are prepped for paint. I removed some of the accessories that I thought, you know, might end up getting used on other guns at some point. So I took the magnifier off. I actually took the pistol grip off and just put an old Magpul one that I had laying around on there. Um, mainly to keep the detent and spring in here for the safety. Although I just tried to pick it up a minute ago buy this without having put the uh, actual screw that holds the grip on back in and it fell off and now i lost my safety detent spring so i'm gonna have to find another one of those hopefully i've got one in the parts bin i also took off the iron sights and my little hand stop that i had up front just in case i decide to use that on another gun I took this dang thing off too. This is a Strike Industries oppressor. It's just a blast shield that goes on my muzzle device here when I'm shooting around other people. And I did take the brace off for now. Also, you wanna make sure that you tape off any lenses on your optics. Um, also lenses on your lights because you need to be able to see through light optics and have light come out of your lens there. I like to tape off the muzzle device because that's just going to get hot as hell anyway and burn that paint off. But also anywhere that'll let paint get inside the gun, you want to be closed. So again, like I said, I took off the radium charging handle, put a mil spec in, tape the trigger, and that is about it as far as prep goes. Some people like to uh, thoroughly clean the gun of any oil, solvent, anything like that. I just give it a little bit of a wipe down. I kind of like that rustic look of, uh, you know, your gun as you use it, the paint kind of comes off in areas anyway. So I'm not super concerned about it. So we're gonna go put the first coat on. The base coat is gonna be this tan or FDE color. So let's see how it works. 
All right, so we've got the base coat as that tan, flat, dark earth color. And I think the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be this dark green. And we're gonna start using the stencil on this one. So let's see how that looks. Well, I found the safety detent or the detent spring. But this is where we're at now. I uh, you know, started with that flat, dark earth and then I used that stencil that I showed you guys Went back over it with like an OD green and then black. Both sides tried to kind of switch it up throughout the whole thing. It definitely looks different than it did. It's a much more bold paint scheme. So next step here is going to be to take off the tape. Just a couple quick tips when you are painting. Make sure that you do like long, you know, quick strokes and you don't hold the paint in one spot too long. You want thin layers. Even if you do multiple layers, you want them to be nice and thin. And uh, if you do it like I did today, do it in the sunshine, well then it'll dry very fast between each layer. Your rifle or pistol shouldn't feel super like painty or tacky when you're done. Although what I learned last time I did this, it does take a couple of days before it feels normal. It's gonna feel a little bit tacky for a bit. So the other thing too, when you're using a stencil, put it as close as you can to the gun while you're spraying those patches because another thing I learned last time I did it, if I hold it too far away, the stencil doesn't do its job and it basically just sprays like patches of paint instead of the actual um, pattern that you're looking to do. So we're gonna take the tape off this, put the accessories back on it and see how this thing looks. So, I removed all the tape, and I'm very happy with the way this turned out. If you remember from the beginning of the video, it almost looked like it hadn't been painted using just the black and green last time I painted it. Well, it is very, very obvious that this rifle, or this pistol, excuse me, has been rattle canned at this point. And I think that it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very happy with it. I, uh, I painted the red dot because the screw was in there so tight, I actually couldn't get it off without stripping it. I feel like I probably should have painted the magnifier to match, but I do kind of like the contrast with uh, taking off some of these accessories. The grip is still black, hand stop, muzzle device, my pressure pad, that was taped off. The uh, backup iron sights, Radian Raptor charging handle, brace, all of that stuff I left in the original black, but painted the rest, and uh, I just think it turned out really good. So don't be afraid to paint your guns. Um, you know, there's a lot of black guns out there. Black guns are cool, I've got plenty of them, but there's just something about making it actually yours. And that's one of the great things about the AR platform in general is how easy it is to customize and upgrade and make it yours. So why not make the color scheme yours as well? Now you can send a gun off and get it Cerakoted and uh, spend a lot of money and it'll come back with a very nice finish on it. But there's just something a little more solely about just rattle canning it yourself. I think that this thing looks awesome. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you think it looks ridiculous or if you agree that it looks awesome because I think it's great. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, please. I'll leave a link to the stencil that I use. It's, I got it off Amazon and uh, it is an affiliate link. So if you decide to buy this stencil or anything else, as long as you click on my link, it will give my channel a little kickback, help keep things running here at Sawtooth Tactical. Also, I'm gonna have a link down below for Patreon. I do have a Patreon. There is tons of content up on it and I add new content every week. So if you wanna join that and help out the channel, it is greatly appreciated. Besides that, please like, share, comment. Tell me if you rattle can your guns, if you do the Cerakote thing or if you just leave them black and what you think about my paint job. And please subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical. From Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.